and Revalia leads and Winklehock is going for it and Winklehock goes ahead, pulls out, goes ahead of his teammate and goes off! Oh, we're with Winklehock! So Revalia leads, Rydell is second, Menu is third, Joachim Winklehock goes back to fourth place in the twinkling of an eye. We're with him now and that's Menu's Renault ahead, he's got it all to do again, if he can, that is because they know what moves he's going to be making. Oh, he's down to fifth now because that's Frank Bieler suddenly appearing and leaping through. Number 45, the championship leader in the four-wheel drive Audi. We're back again with Winklehock. Oh, he doesn't like Bieler. Shakes his fist, dumb cop, he says, at the man in front of him. And it's as you were at Riches. Rivalia, Rydell, Menu, Bieler, that's Winklehock in fifth position. Alton Park always presents the championship with a different kind of challenge. An all Audi front row for race one was thanks largely to damp qualifying sessions. The chaos at the start was due to Alton's narrow confines. Radisic getting a tap from Revalia was the man in the barriers within a few yards of the green light. Then after 11 laps, the Volvo of Kelvin Burt nudged off on the approach to Cascades, sickening impact, and the unconscious Burt would need intensive medical treatment. Winkelhock had forced himself into the lead, and at this point, 11 laps gone, the race was abandoned. Winkelhock the winner. Long term, Kelvin Burt would need some time to recover from this accident, but thankfully he would be OK. An onboard replay showing how fine is the margin of error, how strong the penalty at Alton Park. Race two, equally incident-packed. Winkelhock prevented from making it a double success after making contact with Bincliffe at Nickerbrook. The German left fuming by what he regarded as deliberate blocking tactics. The track is mainly dry, but there are some wet patches. Away they go. It's a great start by Winkelhock. He comes through and he's gone straight through between the two Renaults. Magnificent. Round Allard, the right-hander, up towards the complex. Campbell, Cobb and Seagrave. And he's, he's hit Menu. And now he's hit Hoy. And Dolva, oh, two Renaults hit each other. Both off, both out. And one, two, three more off. That one of them is a Vauxhall, another one's a Volvo. I got pushed off by Ravalia. And I think we'll start with it. Well, whoever started it, both the Renaults are out. And there is Alain Menu, very unhappy indeed. Kelvin Burke's Volvo is out of the race, and we're with Winklehock now. A pretty angry Winklehock. He's last, and he's way, way behind as he gesticulates there. Leslie leads in the Honda. Beeler is second, Ravalia is third, and number one, John Tellen in the Vauxhall Vectra, is in sixth place. Menu is coming up on the left. Leslie's got through as well as they turn into Paddock, the right-hander, climb up Halewood Hill, and Menu off! Rivalia off! The two leaders off! There's Menu stuck at the bottom of the hill, and that's Harvey going off! My goodness, there's carnage there. It's a multiple collision. They're going to have to... That's Leslie. David Leslie stopped. Pulling off the course, there's Winklehock coming through. Well, what an incredible start. Joe Winklehock limping down the hill in his BMW. And this is Radisic. There's a P Super inside his Ford Mondeo. He's going to have to stop. Wow. Paul Radisic pulling in again. He's stopping again. And they're stopping the race. Now, there's a surprise. Tim Harvey. 16 is Robertson's Ford Mondeo. There's Alan Menu touring in in the Renault Laguna. David Leslie stuck up on the bank in the Honda Accord. Red flags. Yeah, red flags, they've stopped the race. Now they're going to have to remove the debris. Oh, now here's a replay of the start. Let's see what happened. Winklehock gets away very slowly. Revalia comes through on the right. Menu tackles him on the left. Leslie dives through in the Honda Accord. So Menu tucks in behind Revalia's BMW. They must have hit each other. Yeah, there it is. Revalia goes off to the right. Menu spins in the middle of the track. So that's Cox taking the lead in the BMW. 
And then immediately as that happens, Harvey dives off to the right, someone's hit his Peugeot. There is Radisic's Ford Mondeo, that's what caused all the smoke. Bit of light engineering now on menus Renault. Joe Winkler didn't have a good start at all, and uh, Ravaliavo took him on the right hand side, and I went on the left, and then turned in for Paddock, and I was right behind Ravalia, and somebody hit me at the back, and in turn I hit Ravalia, and he spun round, and we both spun. And then I don't know, then they all went, they all hit each other at Dreads, I guess, but you didn't see it. When I got to Druids, turned in, the back came round and I spun it because of cold rear tyres. Going round the first corner, both, I think it was Revalia and Menu, did the same thing. They spun going down the hill again because of rear tyres. I actually hit Revalia in the side and then set off up the hill. I don't know what happened behind me. There was one BMW spinning in front of me down to uh, coming out of Paddock Bend. And, uh, that, but that was not really a problem. And then in Drew, it's uh, David Leslie spun in front of me, so I touched him a little bit. But also, no problem for me. And, uh, but behind us, there was a bigger accident. I don't know why, and I don't know who was involved. All right, it looks like half the field was involved. That's Robertson's Mondeo, Ailes' Primera on the right, Thompson's Vectra, that's in a mess. Zilko in the mess. Smack it. Scrap. Yeah. yeah.